I'm Landon. Come hang out with us. I want to show you my whole Galactic Heroes collection. And for all the parents out there, I'm going to give you six awesome reasons why this is a great investment for your kids, so come hang out. If you like deadly Jedi weapons, vlogs from a galaxy far, far away, or anything Star Wars, make sure to hit the subscription button and the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Dun 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 dun! Whoa! Shoo, watch out! Hey guys, me and Dad are going to show you my Galactic Heroes! Galactic Heroes collection t action figures! Yeah! So Give a high five! Oh! Since we're all kind of quarantining still and there's not a whole lot of fun stuff to do out there, so Landon thought it would be fun to show off your Galactic Heroes collection, huh? Yeah. One of his favorite toys are almost always out because he's always playing with them. He's got all the dark side and I have all the good guys. Uh, so where are we going to start? What do you want to start with, bud? Books! AT-ATs, or big ATs we call them. So we got the cool big AT, kind of a place that <laughs> And guys, um, this is where Luke comes in here and throws his grenade in here. So both the side compartments come down, and these cool things go on top. There's like a lot of neat stuff about these. Did you know that they started making these uh, Play School Junior Star Wars figures in like 2002? That was almost 20 years ago, dude. Whoa. And they've made like every single combination of like ships and all the characters and all their outfits that they like you can think of in any scene of the film they really went like to the max with these figures guys this thing opens like up in oh. The back. oh that's oh, you can feel the draft <laughs> when you do that yeah so the big ats have all these cool compartments and he has a stormtrooper inside of his and a stormtrooper <laughs> And it comes out, it can be like a cool escape pod or something. Or, oh no, eject! And guys, this thing opens up and it comes a snow trooper that And there's a snow trooper piloting it. And uh, what else is cool is, watch this, jump. And he like, you know, all the guys jump out and then he's not just fixed in here forever, but the arms, you know, the stormtrooper can hit the snow and now you can put the blaster on. So that's one of the cool things about these toys that's great for kids and a good investment for your kids is that uh, it really makes it more fun and playable that the arms can interchange. Mostly just the arms from like the, the most recent series, maybe the last few years um, made removable interchangeable arms. So the good guys can wear the bad guys and they can have different blasters and hands and stuff. And I've got... Evelyn Falcon! They got the landing gears, the Millennium Falcon, and they have an older model that has the round satellite dish, which pops off. And uh, but this is the Ray and uh, Chewbacca edition, piloting it after poor Han Solo. <laughs> oh, Han Solo died. And so it totally opens up to have a whole playset. Who's piloting it? Um, Ray. Ray, the pilot's in there. Cool. And, and, uh, and also this blue thing, guys. Just Game here where you fight monsters. Yeah, Chewbacca's real good at that game, right? Yeah. And you can take the blasters off and put it here if you want to play and pretend. Like, what is this? The practice droid. Yeah. You know, Luke can practice on that. There's a trap door. And there's also the signature hidden compartment. Oh, who's in there? Um, c 3 Oh, he's hiding in the hidden compartment in the Millennium Falcon. Like in the movie, remember that they were hiding? Oh dear, somebody found me hiding in the compartment again. Like, Like the movie, right? Yeah, there. it's like the ramp that they use to board. <laughs> the landing gears kick up, but there is this cool uh, handle right here that you can grip. And when you can fly around the house and you're not having to hold it like a toaster oven running around your house, right? All right, what's next, bud? We do have two uh, super cute and funny small dogs who love to chew on toys. Poor Jabba lost his, uh, <laughs> lost his hands there. He got left on the floor one day, so poor Jabba's handless. But he's got his like his henchmen and the Rancor, and who have I got? The Rancor guy came with, came with Luke, 
you know, Return of the Jedi Luke with the bone that puts in his mouth and a blaster. That's kind of a cool set. And you can press down. Rawr, rawr, and you can, like, pick up the guys and stuff. And that brings me to my second point for parents out there, why these are an extra cool toy, um, a good investment for kids, is because they're such so less expensive than the other larger Hasbro Black Series action figures that that means for the same money you can get a lot more. Down in the description there'll be a link for a bunch of great Amazon deals on all these uh, neat action figures. And if you click on those, that really help out our channel, right bud? Oh, another thing, you're gonna see a lot of chewed up parts here today, okay? A lot of parts have been left out and chewed up, but that's okay, they're still fun. Ooh, my Poe Dameron X-Wing with uh, BB-8. Whoa, look at that. You press this little button on top and the wings go And it's a supercharged X-Wing, so he's got this crazy big jet pack yeah, on the back of it. That, that goes really fast. Yeah. Now these blasters you can see up front that Poe's got are super chewed up from the dogs. They look totally disfigured, horribly <laughs> mangled. <laughs> but there'll be no sad faces on Christmas. <laughs> Over here, <laughs> and he's got his crazy zapper, so he's zapping guys. And when he gets out, the blasters are part of his arm, so you can take him out. And you can go bow, 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 and take out the bad guys, or you could take off his arms and give him like his blaster arms and stuff. Again, these toys are like built for smaller kids, so uh, on the like the little arms on the X-wing are really durable. They don't, uh, they're not gonna bend and break off. They're really strong. Who's gonna shoot at Poe Dameron's X-wing? Who, who have you got over there? Kylo Ren. Oh no. Ty Silencer. Ty Silencer. Cool, it's got a really awesome design. It looks just like Kylo Ren's from the movies. Well, so Kylo Ren is awesome ship. There's actually room for two guys in here. Look at that, his like blaster arms, he can jump out of his ship. Or you can leave that in here and he came with the cool cross guard lightsaber arms. Whoa. Go slash Chewbacca, no! And again, it's really well made. The, the wings or the sides of the ship they wiggle a little bit. So I think it's really well made, made to be really durable. So I don't have any more big ships, but I've got some really cool little action figure guys here. We've got Finn with his blaster. Pew, pew, pew. We got Ray with the lightsaber. R2 and R2 with the jetpacks. Big gun blaster figures that go pew, and they shoot those things super far. We pretended like this blaster shot like sound waves that like guys would go flying backwards and stuff. And of course, Chewbacca is strong enough to wheel both of those. Yeah, because he's the strongest fur wall I ever and saw. And since we're like old Skywalker here with his metal hand and his like walking stick and stuff. Yeah, it's really cool to use the force. Yeah, point that I wanted to make about why these are super great toys is because people like for their kids, when they get big and they outgrow them, they're just selling them in buckets full on eBay. Put a couple links if I can find some down in the description, but people sell these in big lots. So I bought a couple of them where they just gave us a few handfuls. And here's little AT. Whoa, the little Walker AT, cool. Works, works, All right, so. Works. Big rock thing right there. It's a, it's a button. Yeah, and when you turn it to the side, it can move its head like. Cool. It's got like beep, 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 the beep. grenades over here. And he's got two different blasters up front. Whoa, he almost got him. Jeez, guys. All right, who's driving that thing? Who's, who's in the cockpit of that? Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper's in there. Cool. It looks like you can almost fit two guys, but one guy's just kind of enough. You can pretend like he's on Endor or, uh, or you know, there were little walkers on Hoth, I think, right? Yeah, but we didn't see him blow, blow up anything. Yeah, yeah. Beep, 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 beep. I've got like Hoth, uh, Han Solo in his Hoth outfit riding a Tauntaun, and you can kind of press down on his back, or whatever Tauntauns sound like. We also got Han Solo, regular Han Solo, looking dashing with his cleft in his chin. Let's see, we got uh, Luke Skywalker. We got white flap Luke Skywalker, and that brings me to my fourth point of why these are so cool is that these lightsabers are really hard to break. Now, if you buy the Black Series uh, 
Hasbro for your kids. All you're gonna be doing is gluing lightsabers because they're so stick thin, they're like toothpick thin. Uh, but these are really hard to break and out of all of his playtime, we've only broken one. And we haven't found it, can't glue it back, but it's okay, we have another one. And let's see, we've got uh, Luke from The Ranch. We've got, this was part of the lot that I bought on eBay. We got Disguise Luke from the Death Star. This is actually the old series I'm not crazy about, but because I don't really like that their legs don't move. Do you like that or do you not mind? I like, I don't mind. You don't mind? Because it kind of drives me crazy. They're like really wide angled stance like they're cowboys. Their arms don't really move. But he's still a cool clone trooper, kind of for the background. It has a really big old blaster and stuff. Trooper. It's from the old TV shows, right, Dad? Shows. Yeah, the Clone Wars TV series. Here is Boba Fett's ship! Whoa! What's the name of his ship? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. It's like Slave One or something. All right. Go ahead. How does he land? All right, and who's piloting the Slave One? None other than... Boa Fett! Yeah, that's another cool point about these toys is that there's no super rare figures. If, if your if child loves Boba Fett or loves uh, Darth Vader, they're not hard to find or get. You know, they're pretty inexpensive and... And there's and, something uh, really sad, guys. Oh, and they got Han Solo Frozen in Carbonite that came out the back. <laughs> How cool is that? So sad! The cockpit, you know, rocks back and forth. What a cool bad guy ship. It's all these little um, bomber things that remember that. They yeah, play. those big concussion grenades. Like that? And, and it's that and then it blows Oh, everything blows up. Yeah. Yeah, and so Han Solo goes yeah. in the back. So awesome playtime accessories there. Where is he? We've got pre and post frozen Han Solo here into the concrete slab. The cool uh, First Order TIE Fighter! Get on, get on, get on. And then, uh-oh, Poe Dameron shoots it! Shoot! Ah. Like, Poe Dameron shoots him and then... Ah. It's got these green blasters. Pew, pew. And uh, the wings can pop off and go... Rah. And it's got the cool Bacardi. cannon underneath. Oh, and the cannon comes off and a guy can hold it. You know, this uh, the lid is kind of a breakaway lid, but it's okay. It kind of just pops right back on and... And uh, just keeps on trucking, you know. No, so you could put uh, stormtroopers in here, like bad guys, or you could put uh, Poe Dameron and Finn, like they were escaping from that triangle. Star Destroyer. The Star Destroyer. Yeah, they escape in one of these cool Tie Fighters. It's starting to get a little unbalanced here, you know. I've got way too many bad guys compared to the good guys, and all I've got left over here is the wisest, oldest Jedi, Yoda. Super cool using the force and he's got his little bitty uh, lightsaber That's and so Rose brain. who also got her face kind of chewed and has her like electro shocker to shock any deserters. And guys here's the dewback. And who's riding the dewback? I'm um, a sand trooper. Sand trooper. Another cool point I wanted to point out is that all these blasters are interchangeable so we might have lost the sand troopers blaster but we just put in this one Maybe if you lose one, you can take one from another ship that you're not playing with or something, and so that's cool. Uh, reusability. Let's see, I've got, this came with a little AT. We've got, uh... Um, that's Finn just, oh. that's Finn just, um, disguised it at the, um, Star Destroyer, Yeah, right? I think you're right. Yeah, Finn in disguise. And Let's see, we'll put him kind of sitting on the little AT there with the bad guys. And we got the dewback out in the sand, and when you press it down on him, his head kind of rotates a little bit. That's neat. They were a set that we found online. My favorite guys in the whole bag of galaxy, Darth Vader! Darth, we've got, this is the old series Darth Vader. His like, legs are super huge in hand, and I think his dueling arm does move, but you get a lot of this whole banana lightsaber effect. That's okay, as long as he thinks they're fun. And this is like the newer, show him the newer Darth Vader. And it makes a cool strike. Right, Daddy, you go like. Oh, and his, his, his waist. Whoosh. Oh, it's, is it kind of uh, springy? Yeah. Oh, he has a springy waist for when he I does his lightsaber know. strikes. And he has a cool, nice, soft cloth cape. And his arms can move all over and stuff. And uh, so I, I kind of like the newer ones better. Which one do you like better, Landon? Um, the older one. Here's another of the older generation. We got a snow trooper 
legs and arms don't move, you know, but just really cool for background and for like, you know, bah, collateral damage from your blasters and stuff, right? But General Grievous! General Grievous! Double, double There's four lightsaber. lightsabers. For durable lightsabers, right, parents? It looks... And we have a second General Grievous that came with our eBay lot, um, where just his wrist moves, but he has like a cool blaster. And I have Death Trooper with his cool blaster. Yeah, he's got like TIE fighter arms or something that can come off, but we pretend like he flies like a jetpack and can find, you know, that design from the Hasbro Black series. And then I have one of the droids from the Old Republic. They're, they have really strong Revenge of the Sith or something. Do, do, uh, do, so he's kind of cool. Do, we have him that could fit in the background here. And uh, this came with a lot too. We have Bosk from the old series. He's like super random character. I'm not even sure he even speaks in the movies, but yeah, we'll put Bosk over here. He does speak. With the other bounty hunter. And I have the Tuscan Raider from New Hope and from a lot of the movies, actually. One of the Tuscan Raiders. None of his arms move, but he's still kind of cool. <laughs> and then we've got Captain Phasma, who uh, I jokingly made fun of you know, in uh, episode seven, The Force Awakens, because she says like one thing and we saw Captain Phasma everything in the stores and it kind of drove me crazy. Uh, but she kind of redeems herself and has an epic battle with Finn. So it's cool. They can make a figure out of her and stuff. And she came with a blaster. We lost it, but we'll just take one of these other ones, right? It's cool. Yeah. No worries. That's it. Boom, that's it. That's the whole collection of Landon's star wars galactic hero oh man so hey thanks so much guys for watching please hit the like and subscribe button and follow us on social media we're on instagram and facebook and that's all we got time for for social media right dude yeah and watch all our videos i hope you guys like it very much all our videos and have an awesome star wars day